Good morning, Internet. My name is Pastor Sam, and today's scripture comes to us from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 22. Today's date is March 22, 2019. How great are you, Sovereign Lord! There is no one like you, and there is no God but you, as we have heard with our own ears. The Word of God for the people of God, and thanks be to God. My friends, if some of you guys may not know what First and Second Samuel are about, um, they're not actually two books, it was two scrolls. Because they started writing on one scroll and they ran out of room, so they did have to make a second scroll. But this story, even though it's called Samuel, is actually about King David, and it's about Samuel's reign through early Israel. So we've got Saul in there, we've got King David, we've got a handful of characters that you may have heard of, even if you're not very theological, if you're not very deep in your Bible. These are words, these are characters you've probably heard of before. And chapter 7 in 2 Samuel is my favorite in 2 Samuel because the Ark of the Covenants made it into the holy city of Jerusalem. Everybody's happy and it's the dead of night. And King David is talking with God and he says, you know, God, we brought you in here and you're letting me live in a house. Let me put you in a house. I'm living in a nice house, and you're sitting in the ark. Please, let me build you this temple. And God reminds him, he says, I've never had to live in a house our entire journey. I've never had a house. I've never, you know, rested on my laurels. I've never had some time just to relax. So why don't I build you a house? And this is some excellent wordplay, because he's not talking about a house, which is, you know, a building. He's talking about a house, which is a, a dynasty, which is a lineage, which is the covenant that he makes with David, saying that from your line, there will always be a king. And this king, as we know, the king of kings is Jesus the Christ, where we meet him. And this, this at the very end, this comes from a prayer that David begins s- psalming over. He begins singing about how great God is. And I'm not going to read, you know, I am going to read the whole thing. It's Friday. It's a good time to read the whole thing. So let's go to our scripture. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God, and what is in my house that you have brought me thus far? And yet this was a small thing in my eyes. O Lord God, you have spoken over your servant's house for a great while to come. May this be instruction to your people, O Lord God. What more can David say to you? For you know your servant, O Lord God. Because of your promise and according to your own heart, you have wrought all this greatness so that your servant may know it. Therefore you are great, O Lord God, for there is none like you, and there is no God besides you, according to all that you have heard with our ears. Who is like your people, like Israel? There is no other nation on earth whose God went to redeem it as a people and make a name for himself, doing great things and awesome things for them by driving out before his people nations and their gods. And you established your people, Israel, for yourself to be your people forever, and you, O Lord, became their God. And now, O Lord God, as for the word that you have spoken concerning your servant and concerning his house, confirm it forever, do as you have promised." Thus your name will be magnified forever in the saying, The Lord of hosts is God over Israel, and the house of your servant David will be established before you. For you, O Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, have made this revelation to your servant, saying, I will build you a house. Therefore your servant has found courage to pray this prayer to you. And now, O Lord God, you are God, and your words are true, and you have promised this good thing to your servant. Now, therefore, may it please you to bless the house of your servant, so that it may continue forever before you. For you, O Lord God, have spoken. And with your blessing shall your house be your servant. Be blessed forever. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray that you take some time to read this story. It's, it's an excellent story if you're not familiar with King David. It's got even more action than Game of Thrones. My friends... My name is Pastor Sam. I'll be praying for you all. And let's remember the everlasting covenant that God has given us through his son, Jesus the Christ. Have an incredible weekend. Bye for now.